welcome back. My name is Dave, and this is McCarro Sighting, my N scale layout, uh, based on uh, uh, here on Central uh, short run, uh, short line between uh, Sudbury and the Sioux in uh, in northern Ontario. Today we're going to make hedges. Uh, uh, I've never seen anybody do it this way, but but that doesn't mean that somebody hasn't tried this before. What we're going to do is we're going to use uh, Scotch Brite scrubbing pads. And we're going to make them into something that looks like a manicured hedge. Uh, I want to put a hedge on the in near, near the office area in uh, on the layout in the in the paper mill. So I thought to myself, well, what can I do to make a hedge? Well, you can buy them. You can uh, use a lot of self adhesive tufts and make a tough a layer of of, of uh, or a line of of them and to make a make a hedge. But I thought, why not try this? So what I've done here is. I'm, I'm, I've got to figure out which camera is going to be the best for it. I think I think we'll go to seven. Yeah, that that probably is the best. There we go. So what I have here on the table is some scenic glue, a container filled with, uh, not filled with, but but that we're going to use to uh, put the the uh, flocking and the turf and stuff. On the uh, on the Scotch Brite itself, I've got some uh, foliage here from uh, the company that makes uh, you know I, I I've forgotten their name. They make those they make the trees that you can buy and 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 build on your layout. Uh, I, I can't remember the Scenic Express maybe I don't know. And then I've got some uh, Woodland Scenic Blended Turf. So the, the steps in this are quite simple. You get a knife, you get a ruler, you get your scale, your scale ruler, and you decide how tall you want your hedge by measuring on the scale ruler. And I'm doing a two foot hedge, which is four millimeters. The Scotch Brite is about four millimeters tall, so that that that's a nice nice feature for it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make uh, a strip of uh, so press. Now this is going to dull your blade, so don't use something fancy here. You could cut it with a pair of scissors, but that would be even worse for the scissors. And I'm going to make one more here. All right, one more. Yeah, there. All right, so now, next step. So what I do here is, this, uh, this spray ball's got isopropyl alcohol in it, and I'm just gonna spray down these, uh, I'm, gonna put them, I'm gonna put it over this, and then we'll just spray that down with isopropyl. And what this is gonna do is make sure that the, the glue gets into the fibers of the scotch brite. So I'm going to lay that one there and I'll lay that one there. Now, I'm going to take this over here. Now this shouldn't be a long video because it's only going to take minutes to make this and that's one of the best features about this. So I'm going to take this now and I'm going to put it in the scenic glue making sure that it's good and soaked in. I've got parchment paper on my uh, my workbench, so this is sort of like breading chicken. It's uh, you want to have a dry hand and a wet hand. <laughs> so now I want to take the turf and now this is coarse turf meant to simulate branches from trees or leaves on trees and now 
I'll take the uh, Weedles, Weedles Phoenix and put it down on there. Roll the uh, roll the Scotch Brite in the. Uh, I had. Where are you? There you are. And just roll it around. Get it good and covered. And then I pick it up with tweezers from one on one end. And just shake it a bit. And presto changeo. We have a hedge. And I'll do that one more time for you. So again, sprayed with the isopropyl alcohol into the glue. And this time I'm not going to use the foliage, I'm just going to use the, uh, the fine turf. And we'll see what happens. Alright, okay. in we go. get the fine turf again. Uh, take my rag, keep my fingers off here. Yeah. Work this through the uh, through the turf, shake it off, lay it on the parchment paper because then it won't stick to anything. And what you get in the end is this. Uh, where should I go for this? Oh, I know. Go, go here to six. You get this. And the nice thing about these things is they're very flexible, so you can bend them around corners and curves. Uh, I don't know if you can make a full circle without breaking it. Oh, yeah, yeah, full circle without breaking it. There you go. So, this is a very short video. Just one quick, quick tip. All right, so we don't, uh, you, see, here we go, there, and there, and yeah. all right, this could be applied to any scale. You just cut bigger strips, and maybe uh, if you needed a, I guess you know, HO, you could, you could. Uh, you just make it bigger, just bigger, taller pieces. I've made it so that it's it's the right size for for end scale, and for something like O, you might be able to take the the Scotch Brite and double it up, glue it, glue pieces of it together, double it up, and then and then make the hedge. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're not actually going to finish the uh, the video right away here. Uh, what we're going to do is let these dry up and then over on the on the layout um, right there you can see that patch of grass well that's going to get a hedge around it and a flagpole and a Canadian flag in the middle of it um, and we are like I said we are slowly creeping towards uh, getting this mill finished but it's, it's it's taken its fair good time. So what we're going to do here is we're going to stop the video for now. I'm going to let these dry up. I'm going to go over and put them in place. And then uh, I'll start the video up again and you'll be able to see what it looks like when it's in place. So it'll be uh, you know, 10, 15 minutes for me or a little bit more and a few seconds for you. So we'll see you in a few. And we're back. And you can see on the screen there we have a hedge, Canadian flag, and the office building sitting in the background. 
the uh, warehouse is still sitting over here on my bench and uh, still working on that uh, I got the uh, printed out my own decals for the uh, warning labels for the underneath each of the bays for the trucks to pull up to and uh, so next week uh, I'm going to put both those, uh, both the buildings, the, the office and, and the warehouse, I'm going to put them in, in permanently. And I'm going to wire them up so that they can, uh, the, uh, there's street lights on the, uh, on the office and uh, then there's the other lights on the, uh, on the warehouse itself. So, I want to thank you for watching this week. Uh, like, comment and subscribe. I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to... I'm sorry, I'm just looking for something I think I lost here. But I don't know where it went. Okay, I'll find it. Uh, oh, there it is. Um, sorry. So, as always, take care of yourself, take care of your family. And remember, it's your railroad and you can build it any way you want. And I'll see you next week. Hopefully, by next week, the Showcase Miniature vehicle has shown up and we will start a build of uh, that bucket truck uh, once it gets here. Uh, again, I want to thank the, the, the viewer who suggested that instead of taking uh, re trying to rewire the bridge to get all three lights to lay it up, just uh, get a bucket truck and put a bunch of crewmen on the, on, the, on the bridge deck and have them fixing the light, which is a wonderful piece of story work for, uh, for the layout. So again, Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.